Walk around the compound, see some tigers, and then hear some squeaks. Seth. Sass! Come on! Come on, coming down over here? Cassie! She already came down once. Oh, she will be willing to come down again. That's really nice. Take your time, Cassie. She had a little bit more gusto. One of the earlier ones. Hi, baby. Morning. Morning, baby. Hi. <laughs> You're so pretty. You're so pretty. Hi, baby. Oh my gosh, look at you. Look at you. What do you know? Well, yes. It's morning. Yeah. The Center for Animal Research and Education. It's the cool Texas breeze. Feels wonderful. Now, here's the thing. Middle of October, temperature is expected to get to the mid-90s today. Can you believe that? Summer. Oh my gosh, won't you just go away? It just keeps on wanting to butt its dumb, stinky, hot head. You know, all around. I'm trying to find Bobby. I'm not exactly sure where she is at. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you, uh, do I, can, can I help you? Just following, Just following me? Um, everyone, of course, uh, meet Micah. Uh, I guess in the person. Well, technically, I'm meeting her in person, but you still meet her, like, digitally. But I guess it's a little bit different, because before she was like a little box, like Avatar, maybe making comments. And now she's actually here, which that's kind of neat. So, yeah. yeah. But uh, Micah, of course, is the... Content manager, she's the collab representative, the person who brought me over from the ecosystem of Vine into the into the, the sphere of YouTube. So we're just gonna do a quick little thing. Oh, also, hello all you big cat lovers out there. It's me, Derek. Again, welcome to another super duper fantastic episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Micah, how are you doing today? I'm good. I'm so that's I'm happy that you're doing good. I'm not going to have the camera on you terribly too much because Mike is very shy. She's very shy. She's like, uh, no, I'd rather do the, uh, I'd rather do the behind the scenes stuff, Derek. And, and I respect that. But I'm going to ask you some questions, Micah. All right. I'm going to ask you some different things. Um, but, uh, first off, where are you from? Um, from California. From California. She is, uh, well, Colab is, uh, it is headquartered in Los Angeles so and she is she is out there she is one of the Los Los Angelians Los Angel what what do you call yourselves uh, Angelinos Angelinos there you go there you go um but yeah no she works for oh my gosh she works for an internet company a content creation management company in Los Angeles. I mean, how cool is that? It's just, it's so, uh, it's so hipstery and 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 21st century, don't you think? Wait, I'm just kind of talking to myself at that point. That was more of like a rhetorical kind of question. That's kind of a. We may have to kind of pause and then just kind of, you know, reassemble ourselves. So, but one thing I will say, okay, because we're going to be talking you know, a little bit about my with the cats too. It's already getting warm. It's already getting warm, so yeah, don't don't expect the cats to be particularly uh, particularly active right now. I do apologize. Um, also, this may actually be um, this may be the only webcast that we have, maybe not this week, uh, but until maybe like a, a Friday thing. But I, I did actually film some pretty cool things. That I'm gonna try to put together and then put up on the YouTube channel for you. So anyway. Without further ado, uh, let's ask Micah some questions. I probably should have uh, prepared this a little bit, but I didn't. I just kind of wanted to just, you know, do it on the fly. Um, so, what uh, what do you what do you do? Uh, well, I'm the events manager, so I actually plan our presence at things like Playlist Live or VidCon or New Fronts, 
Oh, that's and cool. And then I'm also kind of like an office manager, handle the snacks and the drinks, and then very nice. some channel management. Snacks and drinks are very good. Okay, yeah. so events, channels, and snacks. Yeah. Micah's got a very important job. <laughs> that's very, very good. I love, who doesn't love snacks? And if, if, if you don't got some, then the whole place, just it, the morale drops, the place just starts to crumble. Hi, sweetie pie. <laughs> but this is the big thing um, because Mike has actually been helping to uh, manage the the Big Cat Derek brand and the, the YouTube channel. Um, she's helped it grow uh, the past, what is it, two years now? Something like that? Three? Yeah. Really? Jeez, where's the time go? It was like 2014, right? No kidding. But um, she, uh, she saw the Vine account uh, and she said like, oh yeah, that guy and there's tigers and we might make, we might be able to make something work out of that. And then she contacted me and said, would you like to sign with Colab? Now here's the other thing. I remember because um, with that whole thing, I was getting a lot of like offers just like, oh my gosh, like it's going to be so like Trey Swag to like sign up for our like internet thing. But it usually was like an automated uh, kind of like... Dear content, dear insert name here, would you like to join our insert content platform? And it's like, no, I don't, like, she was actually, like, the first one who was just like, hi, my name is Micah, and she actually was, like, referencing the, the content and saying just, like, I think you'd be a good fit, and I'm like, oh, this is an actual person, so, yeah, that was, uh, that was nice of her. I'm a human. Yeah, I am a human. I am a human. So you actually go to a lot of different, uh... Like, uh, social media kind of conventions and events and stuff like that, don't yeah, you? I do. What, uh, and you help to manage Collab's presence over there. So what, is, what does that actually mean and what does that actually entail? Yeah, so sometimes we host a party for the featured creators. So those are everyone that the event is bringing on and is in official programming and is on the website. Um, or sometimes we'll host a hospitality suite also for future creators. So then we can decide like, oh, like, what do we want them to see when they come? And do we want it to be a chill space or oh, that's cool. a super exciting space? We'll have things like couches and games and charging stations and some free swag. Sure. That's awesome. That's awesome. I mean, it, uh, this whole doing stuff like this i mean it's it's such a it's a relatively recent phenomenon i mean if there there have been kind of fandom conventions uh whether it be for you know books or or television movies i mean like other traditional forms of media but of course like internet conventions and then specifically social media type conventions relatively new kind of phenomenon yeah. um i guess how would you say that uh I guess managing talent or managing uh, those types of events, how would you say that they're different than um, maybe more of like a traditional kind of uh, media type convention? I think the biggest difference between traditional and digital that everyone points out is with digital talent, the relationships are a lot more personal. So when you're talking to the camera, like it feels like you're really talking to your fans and you're having, like you're more engaged on Twitter and all those other platforms and you're actually going back and forth with individuals, whereas traditional media, like you don't have that kind of relationship with, you know, Brad Pitt or whoever. Sure. You're not, you're not going back and forth on Twitter. You're not watching them collaborate on YouTube videos. Okay. They're not asking you what merch you want to see. Sure, 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 sure. Um, so I guess within that, would you say that like the... Uh, the fan base or the people that actually uh, are drawn to these types of things, do do they have like, um, I guess they would have like different kind of expectations as to um, what the people that they're following or who that they're kind of looking at, I guess then how they would interact. Uh, I didn't even answer that question. Was that even a question? Was that even words? I'm not sure. <laughs> I think what I'm trying to, okay, what I was trying to ask is like, okay, so you have like, uh, yeah, you have, like, a comic book convention, or you actually have, like, something where there's, like, a, a panel with, like, a movie, like, movie people. Um, I'm guessing that there's, uh, different expectations with the fans of those types of medium versus, like, fans of social media and content creators. Almost like, again, there's almost a, a more of an expectation of accessibility with content creators, I guess. Yeah, that's true. Because I think if you're going to a fan convention... 
as a fan, then you kind of have this thing of like, oh, like if, especially if someone's a daily vlogger, you're like, oh, like I, I kind of know them so well. And like, sure. You know, like I brought you like a gift card to this place because I know it's your favorite restaurant. And oh, okay, like, sure. Little things like that. that again. See, yeah, yeah really gift good. cards, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I said gift cards. I feel like that's not like something do they actually I see do very that? often. Okay. I'm sure some people do, but it's like it'll be like, oh, I drew this for you. Or, I mean, who wants those? Who like, wants gift things. cards to things like Amazon and Best Buy? I mean, like, what? That's crazy. Like, why would they do that? Hold on. I think Milo's down there. I gotta go and check and see if he's okay. But uh, okay, so just stay there, Micah. Fuck, oh, jeez. Finally, we're away oh. from. We're away from her. Oh my gosh, finally. Jeez, she's just been following me around this whole time, just asking me questions about when are you going to actually start making good videos? And. Uh, <laughs> no. No, she's been really great. She's been really great. Um, one of the. Uh, one of the. Oh, hi, Sass. Hi, baby. No, hi, chubby. Yeah, look, look at that belly. Look at that belly of yours. Oh my gosh, you got a bit of a chubby belly. No, but Mike has been very instrumental. She's been very important towards um, just the, uh, you know, the overall uh, viability and and stability. I would say of the organization because um, she's helped to build and and create. A degree of uh, of order of uh, you know professionalism to a lot of the actual stuff that goes on the YouTube channel. Um, I mean, like different things with like title cards and end cards and the system of tags and being able to actually make it to where the videos are uh, recognizable to uh, where they're they're searchable and where they're findable, where they're going to actually show up um, as opposed to just kind of. Uh, dying along the side of the road in the internet wastelands all Mad Max style. That's one of the main things that, that she does. And, I mean, she's helped to grow the channel tremendously. And then by proxy, people's awareness of this facility have also grown. And then donations go up, and then what we're able to do and what we're able to accomplish also goes up. So, uh, yeah, she's been... Uh, She's been very, very uh, instrumental in uh, in that whole thing. Ugh. I can't thank her enough. Thanks, Micah. You're welcome. Do you have any social media like accounts or anything like that that people can follow you on? You have a Twitter. I do. Yeah, I have, I have Twitter, Instagram. Twitter. The same. They're underscore underscore Micah Alyssa M I K A A L Y S S A. Okay. Underscore underscore Micah Alyssa. Follow her on Instagram. And on the Twitters. On the Twitters. So one of the one of the big things is that um, we had that big event um, that I was talking about before in one of the last webcasts. One of the last webby casts. It's uh, it was for an organization. It's called NACO, the National Organization of Counties, and basically, it's um, like rural, like people from rural counties, whether they be. I mean, there was like judges and there was like business leaders and there was elected officials from different rural counties all over the country. And then they go to different areas and they have like an annual meeting and then they came here and they had a really great time. Really, really great time. But I took off a lot of time off of uh, workity work to do that. And then I also said to uh, Mike, I'm like, well, you know, the opportunity is there for you to come down to the facility, you know, take a take a weekend if the if the uh, collab folks will let you go and and she was able to to get that whole thing done and yeah that's uh that's it i mean she's been working for the facility oh i not for the facility but she's been working for the channel um for like we said three years first time that she's ever been here first time that she's ever actually been here and i guess okay double fence hi bud that was one of the big things that I wanted to do was to bring her here and then give her, I guess, a little bit more of a frame of reference, a little bit more of a context for, uh, I guess, the uh, the actual operation itself and how that fits into, you know, content generation 
and also just to kind of I guess have a, a greater degree of uh, understanding and appreciation for the uh, the animals and 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 whatnot. So yeah, how's that? Uh, how's it been going so far? You don't have to lie. You don't have to sit there and say like it's great. It's <laughs> so anything anything noteworthy from uh, from your visit now there's a lot of people who of course they're going to go into the comment section and they're going to be like oh my gosh hashtag jealous i'm so jealous micah you get to actually be there oh my gosh so any takeaways any noteworthy takeaways here let's actually move up just a little bit because the shadows are like your face let's go this way no this way this way okay there we go all right much better no you can't see no, 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 just keep on coming this way. Here, okay. No, we gotta keep on walking. Oh my gosh, Micah, don't you even know how to webcast? You like watch, you literally watch every single one of them. She does, I know, and I feel so bad for her. I feel so bad for Micah. She has to watch every single one of them just so that she can like do the tags and she can help write video descriptions and then she can find like places where they can work and then she works with our editor and stuff like that and she, so yeah, she, it's not that she wants to watch every single one, she has to watch every single one. <laughs> I to think I would still watch them. <laughs> I'm sure I would. Oh my gosh, you don't have to, you don't have to lie to make friends, Micah. I guess a takeaway is, you don't realize like just how big they are. It's like, I mean, you know they're big, but also you're like twice as tall as I am. Well, here, so. where are you stand over here? Right there, right there. Kind of yeah. A Mr. Big. I know, he's a big boy. Really big. <laughs> yes, they are. Yes, they are. But um, any other, uh, I guess, um, I guess as a uh, frame of reference or, uh, or something like noteworthy takeaways from being someone who uh, only ever experienced this place through like a small screen and then now you're actually... Now you're actually here. Is there anything that was kind of interesting where it was just like, oh, I was like, that's different. Now you were talking a little bit before about how, um, like, some of the actual, like, the enclosures are not as spread out as, as yeah. what it would kind of appear. That things are a little bit kind of more, Especially kind of... because you always talk about, like, the upper compound and the lower compound, so I always just imagine, like, two separate, like, segments. Sure. I, I, I can't, I don't know what's what. Yeah. <laughs> I, I walked through it a few times, and I don't know what's, like, Sure, sure, sure. I guess that you could say that uh, the, the the enclosure sections right there, it's like, you can call that the middle. And it's just like the, it's the disambiguation point between the upper and the lower. Which I guess that, that in, in technical terms, the middle part is actually considered upper. Even though it could technically be its own thing. I keep on saying technical. I get around Micah and everything, and she actually has organization. Like, she's actually an organized person, and I'm anything but. So I feel like I have to sit there and say, like, oh, yes, well, technically speaking. <laughs> no, but Micah's been really great. Um, she came, and she had, she had, like, papers with, like, uh, with, like, you know, facility, like, annual reports and view counts and, like, the most, like, search, search words. And I'm just like, man, I'm glad I have someone that can make this information accessible and, under and easily understandable. And she did. And we went through some different things. And, and it was great to be able to actually sit down and she's like, okay, well, according to this figure. And then she's like opening up and like, no, of course we have this other video channel. That's one thing. She doesn't talk like that. <laughs> no, she doesn't talk like that. But hi, baby. <laughs> hi, sugar pie. How are you? But... It was really great to be able to, to sit down and uh, kind of formulate some ideas as far as uh, where we could kind of take the content and how we can kind of make it uh, make it even bigger and more grand. You know what I'm saying? No. Um, so yeah, yeah. So what other? Uh, why I guess um, and I, I've talked to you. Uh, I've asked you this before, but I'd like to hear some more of your insight. Like what about what about the the internet space um, was like what inspired you to kind of want to get into that as a career um, kind of working behind the scenes and working with content creators and then helping helping people build their platforms and kind of see their visions realized like what what made you want to kind of get into that uh, I guess it's a combination of things like I've always been really into YouTube so part of it too was just kind of like oh like this would be a cool way to hang out with 
from people that I've been watching, things like that. And then it's just fun too to kind of help something grow and then watch it, watch it blossom. Sure. Very nice. Because yeah. I think in entertainment in general was always really interesting to me, but I was never interested in like the traditional network spaces. Sure. Yeah. Very neat. Very neat. Oh, hi. Hi. Hi, baby. <laughs> Good girl. Oh, big burp. That was a big burp. <laughs> um, now, you, you're, you're kind of a, I guess, a uh, bit of a Fire Melita fan, you know, to a certain degree. If you had to kind of choose some kitties that, you know, you thought were okay, and I know it's the same kind of thing, like, I can't choose just one. It's got to be kind of like an assortment of a number of cats. Yeah. Has that, um, now of course you got Melita, you got Fire over there. Um, has that feeling like remained or have you, have you grown to appreciate any other cats that you might not have necessarily um, thought now that you've met them in person? Uh, it still kind of remains. And then Appreciation with Noe. An appreciation with Noe? Yeah. Sure. When I, was, when I was watering the buckets, she came and followed me to the other end, and I was just like, oh. Oh, that's right. We actually, I, I actually, yeah, we, <laughs> when we were walking around, I, I had my, Micah helping water, and oh, she's just a regular old farm girl now, you know? She's opening up <laughs> gates and rolling hoses and everything, you know? Farmer Micah over here. That's me. Yeah. <laughs> that's me. But uh, everyone, of course, uh, you know, if you could please go into the comments section and just write really just awful, terrible, scathing, just insulting things. I'm kidding. No, if you could definitely uh, express some, uh, some, some love and appreciation for uh, all the different things that Micah has done behind the scenes, which, like I said, she is, she was, I mean, she kind of was from the YouTube channel from the beginning. <laughs> she's the reason, look, you have to realize, she's the reason why the YouTube channel exists. Like, do you even know that? Do you, well, like, you this, <laughs> this is the person who, like, basically came up to me and said, hey, you know, you seem to be having some good success on Vine. Have you ever thought about YouTube? Oh, by the way, we have a really great team of people that can really help you get it set up and turn it into a thing that can that can possibly uh, aid you and and the things that you're working for so yeah yeah all of you people who are just like oh my gosh hashtag team bb's and the tgs and hashtag walk around the compound and dorbist award yeah this one right here it's the reason that it, she's like ugh, ugh. she's so shy she is so shy. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> it's true. Um, they've, there's some construction heading, or we've got the cougar enclosure construction that's going on down at the uh, at the other side. So, uh, no BBs, no tigis today. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Derek giveth and Derek take. It. Actually, that was Micah's idea. She's just like she said, just like I really don't think that we should go down there. It's <laughs> <is> not true. <laughs> just like I, after all that goodwill, like people are like, oh my gosh, thank you so much, Micah. But then, like you know, she's the reason that we're not seeing Tigis and BBs, and they're like, damn it, Micah. Ah. <laughs> but she's been really awesome. Uh, can't thank her enough, and looking forward to uh, working with you, Micah. Hopefully, in the in the years to come, and see if we can uh, grow and expand and build some some new things and make some more awesome content uh, for you good people out there. So, yeah, I know that this one was a little bit kind of you know up and down and all over the place, but I mean, come on, Micah, what walk around the compound webcast isn't all sorts of just you know babbling nonsense i mean from me not from you you were actually very good so i appreciate that um do you have any sort of parting thoughts for people um, make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure you, you subscribe already. yeah don't just sit there and just comment and like you gotta subscribe that's another thing mike is saying just like <laughs> we're watching videos 
she's like, oh, there's like some ones that you can take some ideas from. And like every time they do something, like there was one she was like, within the first three seconds, she's like, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. She's a British lady and she's just like, yeah, you see that subscribe thing that she's doing right away? She's not sitting like... <laughs> so anyway, yeah, she's really great. And she's, she's helping me navigate this, uh, this, uh, this crazy internet jungle. Oh my gosh. But, um, thank you so much for watching this episode of the walk around the compound webcast. As always, hashtag Dorbest Award down in the comments section below. We will talk at you later. All right. Bye-bye. To work making her earn her keep here at the compound, of course. Do <laughs> I don't know Hello. how do hoses work? How do you hose? She's doing great, she's doing great. Say hi, Micah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs>